Hey, hey guys, welcome back to the studio. Ryan, aka Bloodshot, and we are back, beginners, beginner boot camp. You know, last time I called you recruits, but I don't think that was quite right. You've already been recruited. The Bloodshot army grows stronger every day. He agrees. Um, <laughs> train of thought out the door. Thanks, dude. Uh, where were we? All right, well, we're number four. Part four, guys. Number one was equipment. Number two, we start spraying some paint, a little bit of troubleshooting, and we're going to get more into some troubleshooting as we continue, guys. Uh, number three was spots and dots, shades and fades. I hope you guys have spent at least a good hour. I hope you're at least a good hour into your 20 hour challenge. Hopefully more. And I haven't forgotten about you guys. A good teacher knows when to allow the student to study. So I hope you have gotten at least an hour in guys. That's what it takes. You gotta put that time in if you're gonna grow, if you're gonna succeed, if you're gonna push your skills to the next level. And with that being said, the long road ahead has just begun, guys. The journey, we've just begun, guys. So, line work, all right? You want to go from one place to another? Quickest distance is a straight line, guys. Um, Long and short, fat and fine, light and heavy. This is where we're at, guys. This is what we're going to do. Um, This is all you need is a sketch pad we're gonna use some red today last time we used some blue um i got my thinner uh cleaning agent if you guys haven't checked that hack video check it out guys you can save yourself a ton of money by using some household cleaners to reduce and clean your paint all right guys uh recap was oh we're upside down here ah. Where are we here? I'll get it. All right, guys, recap. We did some troubleshooting, playing around with some paint, learning the difference between opaque and transparency. And guys, as we go, you will learn more. We gritted out, we did some spots and dots. We did some shades and fades. Today, guys, I went ahead and gritted out ahead of you guys. You can catch up. And we are going to do some lines, guys. Let's get right into it. I'll whip you around and you can get out your brush, get out your paint, get that trigger finger warmed up, guys, and we are gonna get right into it. Check it out. Alright guys, auto air, auto born, water based, red. I'm just going to go ahead and put a couple of drops on in here. Let's go with three, oh, oh, maybe four. Let's catch that guy before he goes anywhere. And I'll put about the same amount of cleaner, reducer, about four drops, runs a little quicker. And just a regular paintbrush, guys. It's all I've ever used. It's all I'm ever going to use. Just a paintbrush to clean it up. Paintbrush to mix paints. That is about the consistency I'm running today. For now. We always check it out first. So if you remember, guys, this is sort of our test sample. I like to always have something beside me when I'm working on a project that I can test my paint. See how it's flowing. This side is our test. This is our practice. All right, guys. So I'm looking at my paint and I'm thinking that's flowing quite nice. And I'm gonna get right into it. All right, guys. Remember, hang loose, but also brace yourself. So I'm about, let's say three inches away. I'm gonna find where I want my line to start. So I kind of found it, and now I'm going to go ahead, 
I am not moving the finger. I have just applied paint. My uh, air trigger is a little uh, <laughs> it's a little sticky right now, so it's not popping up as quickly as it should. No biggie, guys. So again, find where we are. Brace yourself. Man, maybe even trace a line with your pinky finger. And that will keep a nice straight line with your airbrush. Alright, let's try that. Find where you are, let's go. And that's it, guys. Easy enough? You know what I'm going to say, guys. Pages, alright? Keep practicing. The only way you're going to get good at it is to keep on practicing so that's about three inches away that would be the long let's do some shorts guys um, when I'm doing short lines I might brace myself but for the most part I'm just gonna be doing multiple passes but applying paint just in the middle so I got my air rolling now I'm just gonna apply paint right in the middle so I got my air rolling, I'm going about there to there with my airbrush, but I'm only applying paint from there to there. Alright guys, watch it again. Oh, it started a little late. Let's try that one again. Started a little early. For me, as I have just learned, is it is easier for me to start at the top and bring her down than it is for me to start at the bottom and bring her up. Personally, you might find it works different. All right, guys, let's cross her down. Easy breezy. Keep her going, guys. Double pass a little further back. Double pass a little further back. Alright guys, so when you're a little closer, brace yourself. Tighter lines. A little further back. Double pass, triple pass is going to build it up nice and slow. see the difference all right guys pages pages dudes and dudettes all right um the only way you're going to build up muscle memory the only way you're going to build that control time and effort guys practice 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 all right so this is some uh long and short let's get into the uh fat and fine so for a fat line, guys, I'm going to give more paint and more distance. So I am now about, let's say, four inches, possibly bridging on the five inches. I am pulling my airbrush trigger a lot further back, getting ready. I like to kind of always start my line with air before I ever apply any paint. So you notice I'm resting my elbows on my side of my ribs and I'm kind of swaying the whole body to do a nice long line guys. It's a whole fluid movement. Alright, starting my air about four or five inches away. More paint. That's it. That's your fat. Alright guys. And same thing, fine lines guys, you want it fine, get her tight, get her up close. Now rarely ever do I try to pull a line that long and even if you look at me guys, I'm skipping, I'm bouncing. If I, if I got to pull lines that long, 
usually I will start at one end, get to move in, and slowly build up around an inch at a time. Alright guys, you can see the paint that is now drying on my tip, and all I do, pinch, spin, and give her a quick little, and usually you are good to go. Alright, uh, light and heavy, <laughs> we're really all getting back into the same thing, so light passes guys. If I were to bring a line that I want to be super light, then I'm just applying less paint. So that finger is just barely pulling back on the trigger, guys. And that's going to give me a nice light, light line. I don't even know if that's registering for you guys on the camera, but there is a light line going over top of this here. Alright, guys. Heavy, more paint. Pull that trigger a little further back, all right? Nice and heavy. Now what happened here, the difference is what happened here, this was my breath. This was my inhale, and this was me holding my breath guys so when I am pulling these longer lines the less movement my body has you notice my elbows are tight up against me my hand is cupped I am in here I am braced I am trying to make the minimal amount of movements aside from my finger moving back and forth to apply paint so let's try that again all right guys And really. Again, rarely do I ever try to do. It's sometimes the easier way to approach it. But guys, practice it all. All right, we've got light, we've got heavy, we've got fat, we've got thin, we've got long, we've got short. You guys want to get into even shorter lines? Let's cross these guys off even shorter. All right, guys, have fun. Play with it. I don't care what kind of lines you're doing, guys. I do not care. Have fun. They do not have to be straight. What you are doing is you are building the muscle memory. You are learning how that finger pulls back on that trigger to get the amount of paint and the required effect all right guys that's that i will see you guys in a couple more weeks because i know you've got a sketchbook that you need to fill the teacher will not be satisfied you want an a ah and that's a great segue guys perfect segue if I got this right, Martin Woodland, this guy on the ball. All right, guys, my 20 hour challenge. It's, it's a great idea, but there's no follow through. It's like, dude, do this and do it. I don't know. Maybe go over there in the corner and paint. I'm going to be over here doing my thing. I'm not paying attention to your thing. Yeah, it's not going to work, guys. So, hashtag Bloodshot Army, guys. Unused hashtag. 
This belongs to us, guys. Hashtag Bloodshot Army, all one word. And we're going to build up this hashtag. You put your pictures down there. You want me to see what you're doing? Would you like me to critique what you're doing? You want some advice? Throw your work on there. I want to see what your pages look like, guys. If you're having problems, you're like, Ryan, look at this line. It's put that, put that, put that, put that. I've got some ideas that can help, guys. Hashtag Bloodshot Army. Let's build it up from nothing. Let's make it a monster of a hashtag, guys. I want to see what you're doing. This will be ours. We claim it. The Bloodshot Army can't take it from us. We take it from you. All right, guys. And with that, I think I'm going to go have a coffee in the teacher's lounge. <laughs> I don't drink coffee, but that seems like a teacher thing to do. All right, guys, and uh, get back to work. All right, guys. And let's not forget, guys, we still need something to paint on the cover of this bad boy. Uh, I've had all kinds of crazy suggestions, guys, from a simple dragon... Yeah, I don't know, dragons aren't that simple. If you're a beginner, it's not where I'd put you. Um, the silhouette of a soldier, superhero, bloodshot army style. Uh, the Joker. Yeah, I love the Joker, guys. And don't get me wrong. Great ideas, guys. You are being crazy creative. I love it. But we're thinking beginners. If you were ever to pick up an airbrush for the first time and be like... I'm going to try to tackle something relatively simple so I don't ah, stress myself out. What would it be, guys? Um, me painting the cover on the cover may not be the simplest idea. Again, so creative. I love it. But, guys, let's, let's keep this something that we can all do, guys. From the most rudimentary beginners to the most experienced guys, this will just be a quick little how-to beginners airbrush tutorial. So, some of the suggestions that I got that I really like, guys, was a skull, a top hat, possibly some dice, um, the cow skull, Arr, finger work for me, there you are. Um, the Pink Floyd, the Walls logo, copyright issues, possibly, <laughs> alright, um, Flames, uh, True Fire, uh, Hot Rod Flames, there's a big difference be between the two, um, my logo, yeah, that's great for me guys, but do you really want my logo on the cover of your airbrushing sketch pad? This is your journal, guys. So let me know, what are we doing? The more comments I get to one way or the other, and that's where we're gonna spin it, guys. We are still a good three, four videos away from getting to doing a tutorial, so no rush. Throw down your ideas, we're gonna survey them, we'll sort through them, and we'll figure out which one that everybody agrees on, guys. This is a team effort. Bloodshot Army is not made of one cat, it is the whole crew, guys. And with that, I bid you adieu, guys, so cheers! And we'll see you in part five. Ah. Ah, quick reminder, guys, hashtag Bloodshot Army, Instagram, Facebook, social media, blow it up, blow it up! up. And speaking of social media, guys, don't forget to follow me on Facebook and Instagram under the same handle, Bloodshot Airbrushing. And as always, guys, like, follow, subscribe. Thanks for coming along for the ride.